world of insulation, there will be times when it must be removed from a building rather than added. This could be due to mold, water damage, pest infestation, and more. In this video, you'll learn how to remove blow-in insulation. The process will normally be carried out by three physicians, the crew lead, the remover, and the support. However, a team member may not be present for every job, and thus the positions will need to be altered accordingly. Before you head to the job site, prepare and reference your pre-departure checklist. For a job like this, you'll need access to the estimate form, the CoolVac 16 vacuum, the vac saver, your preferred sections of hose and hose connectors, a 10-foot section of 6-inch hose, hose clamps, a power drill with hexagonal drill bits, removal bags, gas, walkie-talkies, shoe covers, moving blankets, a ladder, clamp spotlights, Tyvek suits, headlamps, goggles, a bump cap, safety cones, and dust masks. When you have confirmed that everything is on your rig, you can head out. When you reach the job site, try to park the trailer in such a way that it will not block the driveway or oncoming traffic. In urban areas or small subdivisions, this may be impossible, and in those situations, use your safety cones to alert drivers of potential obstacles. The crew lead will put his shoe covers on and greet the customer on arrival. While greeting the customer, it is imperative to warn the customer that if they have children or pets in the house, to ensure they're always being monitored closely, as exterior doors could be left open at any time. Before inspecting the attic, equip your Tyvek suit or long sleeve shirt and pants, goggles, gloves, headlamp, and dust mask. Once familiar with the attic and you've taken note of potential obstacles, you can now prepare to bring the hose in. The hose for the CoolVac 16 comes in sections, and the sizes of these hoses will vary from rig to rig. Having two 50-foot sections of 4-inch hose, along with one 25-foot section of 6-inch hose, should be enough hose to do most removal jobs. If you need more hose, get into contact with our distributor to purchase what you need to flesh out your rig. The support will help unravel the hoses and lead them to the attic. Note that it is easier to connect the hoses as you go. They can be heavy and strenuous to move all at once every time. Attach your 10-foot section of 6-inch hose to the end of the cool vac and the insulation bag. Connect the main hose to your vac saver, then connect a hose from the vac saver to your vacuum so that any dangerous debris sucked up will be caught by the saver and the rest of the insulation will travel through the vacuum to the bag. Equip your walkie-talkies and be sure to place moving blankets or applicable in the building to avoid damaging walls or furniture. Once the hose is in the attic, the remover and support will communicate with each other to run a test on the vacuum. To turn the vacuum on, turn the fuel valve on, set the speed lever to the lowest setting, and then turn the key. If your test is successful, communicate that you're ready to remove. From there, the support will start the vacuum and the remover will begin sucking up the insulation. Be sure to only step on the joists. Picture the attic as a grid and complete squares by vacuuming all the insulation within your reach before moving to a new spot. Thinking actively, moving less and moving slowly minimizes the chance of making a mistake and falling. Be prepared for the vacuum to stop suddenly. The support will deactivate the vacuum when it's time to switch out the bag. Once the bag in use is almost full, undo and unscrew the clamp with your drill. Pull the hose out, stick it in the new bag, engage and screw in the clamp. Then start the vacuum back up. Tie the previous bag and drag it out of the way until the end of the job. The supervisor will periodically check on the progress of the remover, offer help to the workers if they require it, offer water to the workers, and answer customer questions in the meantime. Once the insulation has been vacuumed, the crew lead will enter the attic to check for quality assurance. If the remover's work checks out, 
this would be a good time to have the customer check the quality if they're physically able and desire to do so. Once the quality has been confirmed, the team can prepare for departure. Prepare for departure by removing the hose from the building along with the moving mats. Be sure to vacuum any insulation that may have fallen into the building. Sweep and vacuum any insulation left on your bodies. Take the bags of removed insulation to the dump or another compatible landfill.